When working with GUI Composer applications, you may have a need to run the application standalone rather than from within the browser. This video demonstrates how you can export a GUI Composer application so that you can run it standalone. To start off, we will assume that you already have a working GUI Composer application. The one I have open here is a simple application that has an LED tile widget that shows the status of the LED on a target board. The widget is bound to a global variable in the CCS application called LED underscore status. In the CCS application, this global variable holds the status of the pin tied to the LED, so it matches the state of the LED. And since the LED tile here is bound to this global variable, it will reflect the state of the LED as it changes. I also have a number box widget that is tied to another global variable. This variable contains a loop count for the number of times the code runs through the CPU timer ISR that toggles the GPIO tied to the LED. Now we'll just take a quick look at the project properties. It is set to use um, the XDS target communication protocol and the executable specified here is the .out file generated from building the corresponding CCS application. Now to export this GUI Composer application to a standalone app, go to Menu File, Export as Standalone App. Follow the instructions in this dialog. As mentioned here, before clicking OK, click on the appropriate download link for the GUI Composer Runtime Installer and run the downloaded installer. Then follow the remaining instructions in this dialog. You can also click on the help icon to get more detailed instructions. Now in my case, I already have the GUI Composer Runtime installed, so I just click OK. This will download a zip file named after the GUI Composer project. Click Close to close this dialog. Now to install the standalone app from the downloaded zip file, the first thing we're going to do is unzip the downloaded file. So here is my downloaded file and I am just going to go ahead and unzip it. And go to the unzip directory then you need to copy this application folder to the GUI Composer Runtime root folder. And this is where the GUI Composer Runtime folder is. It would be under your user directory, GUI Composer, Runtime, and then the latest version of the runtime. So what I'm going to do is copy this folder and put it into this runtime directory. And you can go into the directory and click on the batch file to start up the standalone application. In this case, I'm going to st uh, start the Win32 underscore start because I'm on a Windows operating system. If you were working on a Linux or Mac system, then you would use one of these shell files to start up the standalone application. So this start, starts up the application and then it connects to the TI Cloud Agent and starts downloading the program. After the download, it is connecting to the target and now you can see that the LED tile is blinking in sync with the LED on the target board and the CPU timer interrupt count is increasing as the LED is blinking. So this is how you can export a GUI Composer application to a standalone app and run it standalone.